The U.S. Navy's destruction of a failing satellite earlier this year was made possible by a New Jersey-based research and development team. On a recent visit to South Jersey, the admiral responsible for that mission spoke with science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan about what it took and what it meant. Drivers cruising up and down this stretch of Interstate 295 can't help noticing the superstructure of a Navy warship rising above the Burlington County farmland. For engineers at nearby Lockheed Martin, this is an extension of the office and the lab, a testing ground for their work. The so-called cruiser in the cornfield is a Navy facility, commissioned 31 years ago this month as the USS Rancocas. It's equipped with all but the weapons associated with the cruiser-based Aegis system, which passed a unique test on February 20th. This integrated package of radar, computing, and communication systems, most recently upgraded for use in ballistic missile defense, was tapped for another mission. We got a phone call from my boss, and uh, we had a discussion. Was it feasible to adapt the system that we'd built to intercept a satellite? And I said, well, I'll call you back. Between December and January, Rear Admiral Brad Hicks recalls that inquiry became an order to prevent the toxic hydrazine fuel on a malfunctioning satellite from falling uncontrollably to Earth. And we wanted to hit a cylindrical tank that was about a yard in diameter. It was also much faster than anything we'd attempted to intercept by a factor of three. Closing velocities of the satellite at 22,000 22, miles per hour, that's six miles a second. And you have to be able to put a bullet on a bullet. Our uh, interceptor is very small when it gets into space. It's, uh, it's, it's like a large coffee can, if you will. A crash program was mounted involving several hundred engineers, scientists, and sailors. A significant port portion of them were here. Uh, either inside the Combat Systems Engineering Development site or down the street at uh, Lockheed. They worked uh, six, seven days a week until we did this thing in some incredibly long hours. Three missiles were pulled off the production line, modified and delivered to ships in the Pacific. Just one was launched from the Aegis cruiser USS Lake Erie, striking the fuel tank and destroying the satellite. Hicks says the mission yielded data and lessons that could prove valuable to the missile defense program. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Moorestown.